Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Michael Moore getting kicked out of the U.S. Dash his fate is in conservatives' hands. Liberal film producer Michael Moore has gotten very wealthy off of bashing President Trump and Republicans in general. He has made a number of cringe-worthy documentaries and I am proud to say I have never watched any of them. Not a single one and I never, ever will. I'm actually baffled how someone like Moore ever got wealthy to begin with. Michael Moore's latest project, Fahrenheit 11 Nights, definitely underwhelmed at the box office. The leftists said that he planned to flee to Canada if it bombed and there was a right-wing backlash. Wonder if he's packing? Personally, I'd love to see him kicked out of the U.S. If his fate is in the hands of conservatives, he's toast. Moore's film compares President Trump to Adolf Hitler. So tried and predictable. What Moore lacks in imagination and talent he makes up for in hot air and girth. It opened Friday and let's just say it was not a hit out there. As I understand it, Moore is in Canada currently and was present for the premiere of the film at the Toronto International Film Festival TIFF, that attracts the usual Hollywood suspects every year. Trump absolutely hates democracy, and he believes in the autocrat, in the authoritarian," Moore mouthed off to the Canadian press Wednesday. He seems to think his latest so-called masterpiece might provoke a very hostile reaction from his critics. And lacking a backbone, stones or any shred of dignity, Moore declared to go north if the pressure became too intense. First off, no one cares. No one. As for retaliation, the only uprising against this pudgy Marxist would be people demanding their money back after wasting it on watching his garbage. I want us to survive this, but I can't make any guarantees that that's what's going to happen. We're in a bad place. We're on the precipice of some very awful stuff. What a drama queen. I think he is Trump and his supporters confused with the left here. From the Daily Caller Moore did not say whether his plan to move to Canada would entail declaring himself a refugee at the border. Even with its super-liberal Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, and socialized medicine, Moore acknowledges Canada has a lot of problems. You don't need an American to come here and tell you what your problems are. But, don't, think for a second that you're anywhere near what we have to take care of and correct. Fahrenheit 11 Nights is an apocalyptic view of America under Trump, depicting the U.S. as a society sliding into authoritarian rule. Moore told the Canadian press his ties to Canada include having a grandfather who came from Ontario and his preference for using the Canadian-made BlackBerry smartphone. Snort. What a maroon. According to Variety, the documentary is expected to rake in $4 million on 1,700 screens nationwide, below the anticipated $5 million and nowhere near the $8 million Moore's Fahrenheit 9-11 pooled. What I don't get is why it even makes $4 million. There seem to be an awful lot of masochists out there. More from the Daily Caller on this. Moore lauded Canada for his progressive ways and said his grandfather was born in the Canadian province of Ontario. He told the Toronto Star that he hopes relocation won't be necessary because he believes all is not lost for the U.S. One of the good things about us is we eventually come around. The problem is we are slow learners. Look at all these little things you guys, Canadians, do first. Whether it's gay marriage or marijuana or whatever, we will follow you. Eventually. But it's got to be frustrating to look at it from afar, and to see how long it takes us. Moore told the star that he hopes Fahrenheit 11 ninths will affect voter choices in the upcoming midterm elections but he is more enthusiastic about defeating Trump in the 2020 presidential election. I think a lot of people came out to vote for Trump because he was different. And Hillary was not different. She was the same old thing, Moore told the star. The Democrats are going to have to run a beloved American who is going to inspire them to get out and vote if they're going to win. I'm sure you've figured out by now that this is all hype on Moore's part. He knows his tacky little film will never engender an uprising on the right. He's trying to create drama around his pathetic video scree. I think conservatives should tell Canada they can keep this guy. Please, please take Michael Moore. The Toronto Star says Canada is trying to lure Moore with the clever use of chocolate bars. Why can't I get some kind of papers? As a backup. Can we get a campaign going in this country to fight on my behalf? They don't have to give me a passport. Just give me some kind of thing where I don't have to do a handmaid's tale run into this country. He admits his desire to be at one with Canada isn't entirely motivated by his intense dislike of U.S. President Donald J. Trump, whose unlikely rise to power is examined and excoriated in Fahrenheit 11 ninths, the inflammatory new Moore documentary that opens wide Friday. Seems Moore, 64, has long been jealous about our chocolate bars, especially coffee crisp, 
which he can't obtain stateside. Man, what can we do to get coffee crisp in the United States? What is wrong with us that we don't have that yet? Something's wrong with that. You also invented the Kit Kat. When we would go to Canada to visit the relatives, they had these Kit Kats. You have made contributions to the world. Ruffle Mao. All we have to do is load Mur up with chocolate bars and he will stay away. Works for me and worth every damn penny. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.